All right. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh oh, what's wrong, Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy, what's wrong? <laughs> Something seems to have um, struck his uh, funny bone. Uh, Jimmy, <laughs> what's wrong, Jimmy? <laughs> what, what the fuck is wrong with you? Something's just got him laughing. I can't figure out what it could be. I'm, I'm reading the funny papers. Oh, oh Jimmy, of course. Jimmy's, Jimmy's reading, reading, reading the, the funny, funny papers. papers. Oh, dude, this one is good. Reading the, <laughs> reading the funny papers. <laughs> Marmaduke. Marmaduke. <laughs> oh, he's um, he's running, right? <laughs> He's dragging the guy behind him. Really fast he's running. And uh -huh. the guy goes, Don't you want to stay low mileage? <laughs> yeah, that one's a hoot all right. Oh, wow. Oh, what a, a knee hoot. slapper. That's terrific. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah. and then there's Dilbert. <laughs> ah. He's sitting there. He's like a computer screen. <laughs> and behind him. Wait, 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 what? Dilbert's Dilbert. at a, a... He's a computer screen. Okay, and somebody's behind him? Let me get through this, please. Don't make me laugh. All right. And she's standing behind him, and she goes, I took the liberty of calculating how rich you'd have to be. And then the next thing, she's reading... Before I'd be willing to date you, <laughs> the number is four trillion dollars. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That doesn't end there. That's just a laugh in the middle of the strip. Oh, wow. I'm getting lightheaded. Two laughs. In the next one, Dilbert goes, You're happily married. And she goes, That's all factored in. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> uh, uh, I thought it was over in caption too, till that. Yeah, like, yeah. Holy oh, God, there's more. To get two laughs uh, like that on a, a comic strip, wow. Oh, dude, I have a headache. Beetle yeah. Bailey. Beetle so Bailey. do I. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this... Beetle Bailey. Dude. Always a, a chuckle. Always. Beetle sure. Bailey. Enough. The Sarge. The Sarge is eating, and there's the cook, and there's Beetle at the table. The cook? What do they use some uh, ink? <laughs> 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 the Sarge goes, he's looking close at his breakfast. Why do waffles have these little indentations? And the cook goes, so the syrup can't escape. And the next caption, the Sarge looks confused. He goes, I don't understand. And B. <laughs> 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 right. And Beale goes, nothing edible has ever escaped Sarge. <laughs> ah, see, because he. He's a, a big guy, right? <laughs> wow. No, wait. That is funny. Here's the that they didn't want the girls to find out. What girls like that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What the fuck? I don't know. Jimmy's... He'll tell us in a minute. Jimmy just started cracking I'm up sorry. looking at his phone. Well, I never have this... Somebody just... <laughs> <laughs> what the... I've never met Tony Roma from the Dallas Cowboys, but somebody just sent me a Twitter. Puddle of AIDS sent one that said, Pick of Jim Norton meeting his idol, Dallas quarterback Tony Romo. And... You can look under my Twitter at Jim Norton, <laughs> and uh, it just—it's <laughs> <laughs> um, opening. Harry, quickly! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh my it God. fucking looks like me. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> it's a young, it's a young little. Oh, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. It's a young little child with Down syndrome. Yeah, it's just opening. That up. looks just like Jimmy. <laughs> <It's set. laughs> oh, be an Anthony Starr. Jim Norton is a huge, huge Dallas Cowboys fan. The comedian has always dreamt about meeting his idol, 
Tony Romo, the Make a Wish Foundation is <laughs> trying to make a chinless jokester's wish a reality. They arranged a special meeting for little Jimmy and the quarterback in the meatpacking district of New York City. <laughs> oh, this is very funny. Holy <laughs> when asked about the encounter and his role model, Jimmy had this to say, yay pudding. <laughs> and it's a picture of Romo with uh, someone who he feels looks like me. <laughs> Dude. Oh, is that, that fucking... That picture is fucking hysterical. Oh, I'm going to laugh all day, but... <laughs> Jesus. So. Jim Norton. What? Uh, what is that on? Is that just Twitter? Yeah, if you, if you God, go to Twitter, great. at Jim Norton, it's Puddle of AIDS. I'm trying to... Uh... <laughs> oh, my God, is that fucking funny, man. Oh, good gravy. That's fucking hilarious. Jesus Christ. You look very confused in that picture, Jimmy. <laughs> Did you just have some paint chips? I don't know. <laughs> or is your throat full of pennies? <laughs> I don't know what happened. But I can tell you one thing. I'm not thinking anything smart or poignant. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> oh. Holy, holy Toledo. Am I going to laugh all day at that photo? <laughs> Poor kid looks stunned. Oh. What's happening? <laughs> holy shit. Tony Rome is smiling. Oh. What he throws is smarter than that. <laughs> oh, oh, no. The hat is all sideways. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it Why be? Why wouldn't it be straight? A little sweater vest. Yeah, just... What's that for? It's so horrible. It's probably so he doesn't pick at the buttons and eat them. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta cover up those shiny buttons. They look delicious. <laughs> Put a sweater vest over the buttons so that I'm then I'll wind up in a stool three hours. <laughs> oh my! Yes. Oh, there he is. Oh god, that is a good one. God, puddle of aids. Bravo! Hey, real... Gave us a good fucking laugh in here today. I just retweeted it. So uh... also on uh, TedWilliamsHead.com, his Ooh. website. All right. <laughs> So uh, TedWilliamsHead.com <laughs> <the website. laughs> That's a fucking great this site. Guy is despicable. <laughs> what an asshole puddle of AIDS is. You, you really are a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, look, Chandler's a good kid, and and uh, I, mean, I don't have anything against the but, the boy, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Course, you, but the character, I'm ready for him to. Oh, really? Meet his maker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sam likes younger children. He doesn't <laughs> like the fact that he doesn't like <laughs> Carl. That's not, that, term, that, that statement Sam, should Sam. really be misconstrued. Sam, you just said something you brought to my mind. One of the best songs I've ever heard to end a movie. Good. And it was Daniel Lanois' song, uh -huh. "Meet the Maker," at the end of Sling Blade. Great movie. I don't remember Great that song movie. though. Great well, that's movie. That's because you were asleep. No, no, I was wide awake, <laughs> but I probably just it. didn't remember. It's a great movie. It's great it? meaning. Had some potty meat. meat. I'm not leaving. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Shook his hand and said, Yeah. Hey, really a pleasure. Where are you going? Nowhere. I'm just going to stay. <laughs> do, you, uh, yeah. do you think that uh, Negan shows zero vulnerability on the show, right? And that's the strength of him? Like, the, 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 the trick is that. I think he's just a step or two ahead of where everyone else is. I right. think he's just... Uh, you know, I, I, very powerful. I think right. he's got uh, the, the charisma and the sense of humor and definitely the, <laughs> the brutality going for him. But I think he's just super smart as well. And, yeah. and I think that's where he was Did you say secret smart? Gary just farted. Super, <laughs> super <laughs> smart. Gary, Gary just farted. I just I want to know, how, I want to know what's going on with this show. How, how, the, how the fuck did I walk into this? I don't know. <laughs> Gary just farted. <laughs> No. Welcome to the show. <laughs> you get to meet your hero. He played Buddy Holly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Buddy Holly. Yeah, yeah. You never I mean, thought it... Gary Busey would be farting on you in mid explanation, did you? I'm telling okay, you. I got something for you. Oh, okay, good. I was hoping. I'm writing a Another book. Another gasser? I'm putting a book together called Buseyisms. Oh, I good. I hadn't heard about this. Shut up. <laughs> where I take a word, I take the letters that spell the word and create a definition. Oh, really? Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, okay. The word fart, which me. is a natural bodily function it men and is. women and children all do, right. including animals. <laughs> F-A-R-T stands some for... Pick the Shut timing up! a little. Yeah, okay, please, no, he's you're finishing. Right. You're right. F-A-R-T right. stands for feeling a rectal transmission. Oh. See? Yeah, no. So now so... that you know that, you get on an elevator and let, a, let out a fart, 
and then ask everybody to play Name That Smell, <laughs> and you'll be very popular. It really doesn't justify your behavior, Gary. Yeah, it, it doesn't. doesn't. No, it, it justifies It's a loud guess, or you just... You know what that does? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, that justifies everything you're not. Which is a far... <laughs> yeah, I know, I guess... <laughs> I can accept that. <laughs> that criticism... You know, criticism I, is, uh, is is fun. Like here's here's the problem, Gary. I was wondering. <laughs> Help me. No, oh, you're on your own. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 bar, I got your bar, back. Bad bar, bar, Gary. Like I was wondering if, 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 if who was wondering. I was wondering if there was going if we were going to see more vulnerability from Negan's character on the show. Yeah, and, and you got a loud fart. Well, yeah, so you're, to, you're never going to know that. Why? Because the you're guy's in the right audience. here. He's not going to tell you that. That's just you're not going to tell me. That's like asking a chef. Hey, Sam, Sam, wake up. That's like asking a chef for his recipe for a favorite food he makes for you. They love telling their recipes. Yeah, there's cookbooks. <laughs> I know. But the cookbooks don't have the recipes of secret invasion to your digestive system and your taste bud area. No. Oh, it's that wonderful. is some awful music, man. Can it's I... wonderful when a celebrity uh, puts out a music CD. I, you know I, I that... love these things. You know what that's called? That's called when you get to a point in the business where nobody around you is comfortable enough to go, dude, that stinks. That's awfulness. That, that, people, you think anybody he knows likes that? You think anyone's going, boy, that was terrific. Not someone he knows, but I know someone that likes it and probably plays it on his show. Who? <laughs> Now you think that's being played on Frank's place? <laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> I bet. Here's the latest one from Regis. Uh, it's the song that's got to be up. Oh. Picking up forget me nots. Forget me nots. No, I, I like of... a toy balloon. Uh. Just stay away from the coon. <laughs> We're running around like a couple of tots. Like tots. I kinda I wanna F your ass till it rots. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Gelman. I'm uh then put my dick in your nose and make you lick off the snots. <laughs> 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 you make me feel so young. I, I kind of like. I want to stick it in your bung. <laughs> <laughs> Rub my helmet on your tongue, <laughs> and then chop lock you in the throat. <laughs> hey, hey, that didn't. Hey, hey, that didn't rhyme. No, that was the end of the verse. I know. I'm just... I Pick forget me nots <laughs> while you suck cum shots <laughs> out of my hose. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought we, I thought we could improvise here. You make me feel so young. <laughs> oh, ah, put some of that crap on my tongue. Regis, why is there an open sore on my vag lip? That's a forget me not <laughs> on your twat. <laughs> so beat it, you grungy whore. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do his voice. <laughs> sugar. <laughs> oh, sugar. Uh, Let's say hi to Krista. Hey, Krista. Hi, how are you? Okay, what's going on? You make me feel so young, Krista. What's up, Krista? You make me feel so strong and... a girl. <laughs> what, what's what's up, Krista? What's on, Krista? Okay. Um, well, basically, you guys, those those uh, comedy bits, you know, during the break, that's, like, awful. Yeah, we know. Yeah, that. we know. Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah. Um, you know, why don't you guys play the, um, you know, that, that, that segment that we just had? I don't think you guys should cut it. It was actually pretty funny. What segment? Which one? The one with the girls with the video games. And the, the girls? Oh, yeah. the Swedish chick. Oh, thank you. All right, we'll keep it in the replay. What the hell? I think it's funny. Is, is that why you're calling, though? Well, um, I, I called to ask, you know, about the, the breaks, and I basically, you know, spoke with the uh, DJs behind the scenes. All right. Are you blind? Yes, I am. And, Hello. Uh, I had to find the phone number, and I couldn't find it. How'd you find it? Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> Why? Why? Is that your dog barking? Because the bus is, because I'm going to be late for the bus, basically. Where are you going today? School. School. You hope. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that is awful. Oh, that is awful. Oh, we like Krista. <laughs> I gotta right. go. All right, Krista, thank you. All right. <laughs> Let's say hi to Ben's you friend. You make me feel so lucky. <laughs> no kidding. Skipping through the field and tripping over things that you can't see. When you're seeing, when you're seeing. <laughs> Tim. Uh. <laughs> you make me feel your face so I can see what you look like. <laughs> you guys are uh, awful. Uh. 
You make me feel the raised letters. <laughs> 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 Forget me not, you sightless twat. Your dog just shit on my rug. <laughs> Jesus. It's a very angry show today. That's oh, harsh. <laughs> wow. Oh. Let's go to Ben's Raw Ass. Ben's Raw Ass, what's up today? Nah. Hey, guys, that Faith the Lucky, the Lucky One song, I wanted to take a guess at what the uh, Lucky One means. Yeah. Okay. I think she found out she was going to have a retard, then she had a miscarriage. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah, Who saw that coming? I really didn't. The lucky one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way he said she oh. found out she was going to have a retard. <laughs> retard. It's really, it's just a question of uh, two things. Civility. You yeah. know, we, we need a little more manners. Yeah, we do, I think. I think the city... Uh, you know, we were we we're very impersonal, and um, I don't think uh, people really take into consideration other people's feelings. So uh, uh, to hear people cursing like that, I, I believe I've always thought it uh, it rude. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, some of these suggestions for uh, replacement words, I think, gets the point across. But like you said, civility. Yeah, it is, and I'm not totally opposed to swearing. I mean, it's it oh. happens. Uh, it, it's part of our language. It's one way we communicate, but. Uh, it really doesn't do that much good. There's, you, you can you can get by without doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Once, once in a while, it, you know, someone makes you mad or you get impatient, it, it just flies out of your mouth. But. What? what uh, um, I know you have uh, shoot for the S word, uh, bungled instead of the F word. Yeah. Or F effed up. Uh, it should well, be bungled. Well, the whole point is like uh, another one is uh, that's a bunch of balderdash or that's hogwash or that's uh, hogwash. Yeah. Hogwash nonsense, rubbish. These are some of the classics. Uh, yeah. uh, Jim, uh, we started talking about this about 15, 20 minutes ago when it was brought to our attention. That's why we had to search you out. The phones are lit, my friend. Is that right? Yes. Let's say hi to um, Steve from Yellowstone. Hello. Steve. Hello. Is this Mr. O'Connor? Yes. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm really enjoying the discussion. Good. I find that there's far too much uh, profanity used in daily life. But I, I was wondering, like, a lot of my, my, my friends will curse because they try to, like, navigate my website, and they can't because it's so poorly done. What do I do if I have... Change your website. A lot of friends cursing. They're cursing on... How are they cursing on your website? But by... just, no, no, I mean, like... Uh, Steve, what do you mean? We... Yeah. In general, they're cursing, and it's very difficult. Are they on the phone with you? Or are they? You huh. can, yes. I, I, first words. Steve, how we're do I ask my friends mm -hmm. not to use that type of language around me because they're going. They're going to laugh at me. Oh, okay. They're going to laugh at you. Yeah, or or just think I'd be disrespectful. I don't know what to do. Well, just uh, ask them to be a little more polite if they. Ramon! Hogwash is what Jim does in the tub after he abuses the gargoyle of a fat girl. <laughs> Ramon! Jim O'Connor's mother started a video called Two Girls, One Cup of Bolsheviks. Ramon! The next time he's on the subway, he should be given a lesson by Bernhard Getz. Boy, he's a very upset man. Oh, my goodness, sir. Uh, Jim, I apologize. A lot of, a lot of times I get callers like that that... Uh... Yeah, you know. he's a very unhappy yeah, uh, yeah. Well, he's going for the last, of course, he's going for the last. But yeah, I think he, I think he was. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, there was something else I wanted to ask you about this, uh, the, this uh, cussing. You got, a, you got a book or something there, Jim? Yeah, cuss control. It's a complete book on how to curb your cursing. Okay. Not mm -hmm. how to stop, but how to curb it, how to control it, how to be more civilized. You know, see, the thing is, when you allow yourself to get upset, you just, yeah. you, you know, you think it feels good. Yeah, it, it it only it doesn't help that much. It's it, hard just to deal with stuff the best you can. You can't do it all the time. All right, let's take another phone call. We got Paul from uh, Tottsville. Uh, Paul. Hello. Hi, Paul. You're on with Jim O'Connor. Yeah, uh, I'm a teacher. I teach grade school, and uh, it's so difficult to uh, to get the kids to talk right. I mean, when when you you, you, you mention that to them, they they uh, start to think you're like an old fight buddy. Yeah, well, the you kids, know, it's very difficult to ask them. 
Yeah, I'm sure it is. The kids are growing up in a cursing culture. They're probably even hearing yeah, it from their parents. Yeah, what, but what, what do you do to keep them from doing that and to keep them from tattling and things like that? Well, you say, well, do you Ramon! Jim O'Connor is a balder douche! <laughs> Ramon! I'd like to kick this fruit right in the clump! <laughs> Jim O'Connor has to be taken to the emergency room to have a trophy removed from his gargoyle. I can't. Ramon! After a date, Jim O'Connor has a load of shoot on his clutch. The same joke twice, this doesn't work, guys. Ramon! Jim O'Connor should bungle his mother in the gargoyle. You know, when you yell like that, he can't even understand what, he, what you're saying. Yeah, I know. He, uh... That's the same joke fight. Uh, same I know. Guy. You guys got to be more original. Same guy. Uh, I No, I apologize. Sometimes yeah. they, they get through twice like that, through the screen, or using a different voice. Uh, I think he was Mr. Voice. O'Connor, yeah. well, so... I think from the other side of the studio. Yeah. Mm. That's a shame. Well, it kind of ruined the whole uh, Jeez, experience, yeah. I'm thinking. Whole vibe. Yeah. No, so, all right. As well, long as you guys are having fun, you know. Sometimes yeah. swearing is fun, sometimes it's funny. Well, sometimes. Yeah, you know, the worst is when you swear at somebody and that's what he's doing. So that's kind of crude, but... Yeah, yeah that, that is. That, 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 lips that is. Ears. Wait, uh, uh, you th- he was cursing on you, you think? It was hard to tell. It's, the sound was very bad, but yes, yeah. I have a hunch that's what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. That would be... What do you think? No, because we're not allowed to have curses on uh, the radio. So. I hope he didn't. I didn't hear any. Uh, hope it didn't go through. I don't have very many listeners, so it doesn't matter. So yeah. We don't? Yeah. Well, we're yeah. going to hurt feelings. <clears throat> why, why are you taking that out on us? Because yeah. the phone screener didn't know what he was doing. Somehow I get the feeling it's an in-studio call. Really? How, how is that possible? Well, you know, I've uh, been on the radio before. I know how it works. Really? Yeah, I say you got to be original. Do you, you cunt? <laughs> 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 I gotta get to work. Thanks for calling. Uh, yeah. I bet you do. I hope your I hope a uh, man comes and removes your hat. <laughs> hope you get a mouthful of potato flakes at work, you silly goose. Oh, <laughs> so long, gargoyle. <laughs> and this stupid replacement words. Oh, uh, and then he's got to say that we don't have listeners. Right. Exactly. Really? Jesus. Because that, guys, that's not working. Same joke twice. Trust yeah. me, it, it, it worked. Perfectly, of course it did. did. Perfectly well for the faithful listeners. Yeah, I thought those were two home runs, Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we we'll have to agree to disagree on that one. <laughs> it was, you, know, you, you could, I mean, you, you really could. No, she said, no, no, really, I can't. And at that point, Sam just stepped in mm-hmm. and did his thing. His thing. He stepped in yeah. and proposed. On one day he and just stepped in and said, Jess, would, would you really like to be in the picture? That's what he said. Yeah, we know. We heard this whole story that you're telling. <laughs> you're just reiterating what Sam had said, that's but him. that's okay. From a different little, perspective. He's your little boy. So Sam said that, and uh, and what did Jess do? And Jess said, well, yeah, but... And then he took the ring out and went down on one knee. Who's one knee? <laughs> <laughs> No one's name. It's an Indian friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. I, I love it. You guys crack yourselves up, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> crack yourselves up. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. <nice. laughs> uh, fuck. Oh my God, this is so wrong. Uh, this is, this is a very special moment for Bobby and Sam. Yeah, she's losing her little boy, and I'm sure Jess is listening. <laughs> yeah, she no. wouldn't. She doesn't like some of the comments you've made. I would imagine. I wouldn't think so. I'm trying, <laughs> Sam. I'm trying. I really I, well, don't. I know, but <laughs> the one knee thing. The, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> there's nobody named one knee. You knew uh, that. And I did you knew know that. that. I'm sorry. You know, and, and Bobby, I did know that. You knew that. That was uh, that was yeah, uncalled right for. On. So this very special time. I'm sorry. Yeah. I I mean, <laughs> you, you guys do know that I only live to give you these lines. That you yes, <laughs> yes, we thank you for that. 
Okay. Uh, so now, how do you feel about, like, not you're not losing your son, but he is moving on. It's a big step. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, he's, he's found a new mommy. That's not the oh, case. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jess is not filling she that role. He does role. not want to hear that. What's up? What's up? Let's, let's, let's start with Nick. No. These are always the fun stories. What's up in your life? Oh, no, man. you got to check my uh, my Facebook page for that. Right. Get in, number one. Uh, I'm not giving it up right now, no. You have no. a Facebook page? Uh, uh, I do. What is, uh, so what's your Facebook page address so people can uh, do Never that? mind, man. I'm not going to get Another dead end. I got so much going on. I would need, like, so many dollars in therapy to get through it. <laughs> so many dead ends. He can't get an answer out of the, his bestest guy on the couch. That was the worst unraveling of a joke. <laughs> I would need so many dollars to get so through many it. Dollars is to get through the thingy. But like his whole thing is like, oh, wait till I tell you, and then Scorch is like, what? And then he goes, nothing. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nothing. I got something. What is it? Ah, nothing. Yeah, well, come on, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and he keeps inviting him back to sit on the couch. <laughs> and sit on the couch. <laughs> like he's Carson. <laughs> the fuck? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Jesus. Jesus. All right, Scorch promotes that he's getting Jack back in, par. <laughs> in the dog cage this year for Pause for a Cause. You remember Pause for a Cause has a history on this program. Jackson. Yes. <laughs> he stinks. <laughs> he's so bad. Who, Nick came finale? Oh, all of them. That whole crew. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pause for a cause is the event where Scorch uh, sleeps in his dog cage. And one of our listeners threw yellow. <laughs> Travis, mommy issue? So what's the mommy issue? Uh, she left seven years ago. Oh, I haven't boy. spoken to her since. Oh, Why? Why did she leave? Uh, in my opinion, I think because she had like a midlife. She had a homosexual son. No. <laughs> she saw that. She saw Don't the cat talk about picture. my brother. <laughs> Wait, how old, Travis, are you now? I'm 27. So she was 20. You were a grown man. Do you have yeah. any younger siblings? Yeah. You're pretty old. Uh, she... He's a year younger than me. Okay, so you're both grown up. And you haven't talked mm. to your own mom in seven years? No. Why? Why? Do you know where she is? No. You don't even know where she is. No. Has Why'd she, she leave? It can't be just a midlife crisis. She never wanted you in the first place. Huh? Oh, no. Jesus. Has, um, she, has she tried to contact you? Oh, no. I, I was, when she left originally, I was the one keeping contact with her. Oh, okay. So she left, and then you were still kind of keeping contact. But she cut off contact with everyone. Oh, okay. This is good. It's good, ma'am. No, the ice cream. I heard good. The bacon stinks. Oh my god. You know what it is? It's just ice cream and then you you chew on a little piece of bacon. Dude, yeah. Yeah. Well, you really put the whole thing together well, there. But but I mean <laughs> 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 what a dick. What a I thought we shared but deserved. <laughs> but deserved. Yeah. Shut up, stupid. <laughs> No, really, you just put the spoon in and it comes out with a treat on it. Go oh, fuck your mother if you can find her. Wow. <laughs> Dude, this shit's I'm really good. shitting him. I'm sorry. Why, why, why after seven kidding. years I'm do you still feel like you have to tell me you're I don't know, because you're my kidding. friend, and I'm like, I tease you, but that's a rough one, so I, I don't want you to... Hysterical. You're my buddy. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, I, I've been uh, just loving... The, uh, some of the clips from the Women's March. You have? And, uh, the the liberal. Oh, are they just... They don't know what to do with themselves anymore. They're losing their fucking minds. What a collection of ugly bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, it, oh. I haven't quite seen it, heard it described that way. <laughs> they are pig women. And they just, just... It's like... And you see them, the ones dressed up like vaginas? I did no, see that. No, I didn't. I did. <laughs> They're in giant, like, vagina costumes, walking around uh, uh, D.C. Oh, my God. There's, there's kids, like, walking around. How do you fucking explain to a young boy that, uh, that that's going to be something you'll want someday? You, you, like, it's, it's beyond me. <laughs> you look at that and just think you're repulsed by it. Yeah, you just oh. tell them someday this is going to feel like this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, you you didn't think that... We were just li we were listening they to... They look like uh, hamburger outfits. They don't even look like vaginas. <laughs> they look like they're dressed like giant fucking Big Macs. 
Yeah. <laughs> stinks. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, a kid looks at that and he thinks some big, fat, purple-headed woman's face <laughs> is, is the clit. <laughs> like, like the Grimace from McDonald's? <laughs> yeah. Oh, just what? And the crying and fucking... They t- what are they protesting, too? What is it? I, I'm, Women I, have I don't know. rights. They have rights. I, I, Everyone has rights in this country. It's so stupid. I think they're just trying to uh, draw attention to the fact that there are still uh, measures that they feel need to be taken in terms of uh, uh, a, a woman's right to choose, uh, 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 inequality in the wages, you know, things like that. Just, just not wanting to be trivialized uh, in this new administration. Right. Yeah, they're going to be vigilant and look and, and make sure we're going to hold him accountable. Oh, get in the kitchen. <laughs> Rattle some pots and pans. <laughs> you, know, you know what's amazing? <laughs> the, because of the guy, <laughs> I feel like if this pro if these protests ignorant person. <laughs> 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 if, these, if these same protests had been going on while Obama was in office, those two things yeah. combined, I feel like we would have had a rageful Anthony Cumia. But now we have a downright joyful yeah. Anthony who's able to see the humor in all of it. Back to courting Alex, they talk about flowers on desk. <laughs> Morning. Oh my God, I got flowers. They're on my desk and you assume they're for you. Oh, I'm so sorry. They're for you. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh. I wonder who they're from. I wasn't even going to ask. I know how much you value your privacy. She knows. It's not signed. It just says, had a great time. Ah, uh, she read it. Oh, nosy. Someone, someone I don't know about? How am I going to help you cover it up if I don't know what you're hiding? <laughs> The feisty friend, is that who that is? The her, office her one? assistant, yes. The assistant, right. She's, she's sassy. Nosy and sassy. And, and I bet you she's a little bit chubby. She's not as attractive as Jenna Elfman. Oh, of course not. I'll bet you there hasn't been a girl like that since Wendy Jo Sperber. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Remember Bosom Buddies? Wendy Jo Sperber. Uh, There's a talent. <laughs> Bosom Buddies. <laughs> Sad irony there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, what was the... That's all I'll go. That's all I'll say. She's dead, you know, Wendy Jo Spurman. Is she? Yeah, yeah she died. Um, she died. <laughs> what? Don't ask. <laughs> 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 oh, weren't such buddies to her, now were they? <laughs> Oh, can you ch- change the I E S to a Y? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it's awful! Oh. All right, we got another example of great comedy from Courting Alex. Oh, my heart! <laughs> Let's listen to this clip here. Jesus. All right, what else? Oh yeah, the uh, the special needs. Uh, yes, yeah, special needs prom. Now that's sweet. Isn't Here, it? prom season is the giving season. I can't say enough about these kids. The teenagers at St. Charles High will be dancing with the stars. The stars just happen to be teenagers with special needs. Stars are the rotating around their head like they get 14 years. <laughs> 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 that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> so, they're, so they're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Max in Dallas. Max. Hey, guys. I was wondering if they had to redesign the uh, prom king and queen crown to fit over the big waterhead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> giant <nice>. crowns. <laughs> Two other crowns. Fucking taped together, <laughs> opened up. It's a hubcap. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even feel good about these jokes. Uh, I know it's always bad. 
It's just always bad. Because they really are having such a nice, nice oh. they're all nice, retarded kids having oh, fun. Just trying to dance and eat each other's corsage. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> oh, big bowl of pink chips. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's just never good. That is really bad. I know. A bowl of paint chips with some ranch dressing next to them. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Damage has already been done. They're in there tasty. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Over every electrical socket, there's a sign. It has a fork with like a circle and a line through it. <laughs> you know, because they do that. God bless them. Outside, there's just a bunch of those giant tricycles parked in the parking lot. You know, the ones only they drive. <laughs> Big basket with a flower on it. <laughs> oh, oh god oh yeah yeah excuse me can I check your helmets <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh, save the last dunce for me <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Do you like the chicken, fish, beef, or plastic soldiers? All right. I don't know why we to end on such a horrific note. Now I'll be driving home feeling horrible. Well, <laughs> just horrible. Do you actually feel horrible, though, on the way home? I you, do. You, I do. No, you, you forget this as you... I do. You leave that door. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, yeah, let's do that. Travis is going to play uh, Time of My Life. This is, this is a fucking classic that goes back many fucking years. No one puts baby brain in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> What if life is so much sweeter if you could cue the weather with your hands? Cool. And what if all your questions had rhyming answers and you never left home without? I can't listen to this. This, this is why? so gay. But it's good though. It just it's reminds a, me why I don't go Neil to Patrick Broadway. Harris is very Broadway. Life would be fun at this. Imagine, Broadway. but can you imagine controlling the weather with your hand? Oh, it'd be great. Well, there's a band everywhere you walk in. Yes. Ah, da, 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 like that scene in The Godfather. Control That's the what... weather with your fist. Make a mudslide. That's <laughs> 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 just always bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's always just terrible, isn't it, Jim? <laughs> oh, that was fucking brilliant. You fish. Jeez. So you don't like the um, <laughs> the jolly Broadway musical? <laughs> no. Got your backup dancers. What if life were more like theater? Wouldn't life be grand? What if life were tightly written oh. and 
divide. Why are we listening to this? Make it <laughs> 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 uh, It was jolly. Oh. It's gonna be another Super Bowl journey for my pats. And fucking Opie is gonna be pat. His cat, cause you know he's got one in that apartment. Oh yeah, he's gonna be fucking sad. He's gonna be lonely. And Anthony, I call him Tony, is gonna be happy, cause he hates the Jets now too, cause that rap ain't shit. This one's the real deal. I bring real it to deal. the house, and I don't know how to fucking squeal, cause I'm squeal. 4K and I'm on the mic, and you know that's what. <laughs> <laughs> It's a weird way to end a, a rap song. What happened? Did Jimmy fall? Did, did what Jimmy? happened? I thought, what happened? In the, in the middle of his laugh. What happened? Bobby started puking. Why? Jimmy, what, what did you do to him? What happened? Let's oh, see. No. Jimmy. 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 Jimmy found a, Jimmy found found a, a picture of a gaping asshole. All pink socked with cum dripping out of it and showed it to Poppy. I thought that's how he wanted to end his rap song. I got confused. Oh, shit. Poppy just started puking. Oh, God. Oh. Hey, story of the day. Oof, it's time uh, for story of the day. And remind me to tell you the stories of when we, we drive by with cups and throw urine on people in New Brunswick. That was our favorite activity. We would drive around, me and my friend Looch. He was like 35 and he hung out with the teenagers. <laughs> oh, creepy guy. Yeah, he drove a fucking Volkswagen bug and we would drink and I would piss into cups <laughs> and we would just drive through New Brunswick and throw it on people. And I fucking, I had, I would leave the little. <laughs> oh, we got some good ones. And I fucking had a plastic cup with a plastic lid on it. And I'll never forget there was a couple walking. And I fucking threw it, and the arc was beautiful, and the guy put his arm up to block it. <laughs> and it hit his arm and exploded. Piss went all over him and his girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would I be so fucking Oh, he had to be steamed. We would drive around with eggs and egg people all the time. I got a guy in New Brunswick. He probably remembers that. Yeah, that guy probably oh, that re guy fucking remembers, remembers that shit. Remembers being hit, putting his arm up, and having just slow motion, having his cup hit him. And he's probably, if he's listening, he's probably told himself for the last twenty five years it was beer. No, <laughs> no, it wasn't. Well, I told you, I, I told you guys that my friend fucking wow. Stanley and Mike. Stanley was the bodybuilder. We were thirteen playing asteroids, and Mike was thirteen. <laughs> and so Stanley, Stanley wasn't gay. He was just a fucking not a smart guy. He was a martial artist. Me, him, and Mike would just drive around in his rickety old truck. And they would show up with margarine dishes full of motor oil. And we would just go to people's open car windows and, like, throw the fucking motor oil all over the oh inside of their car on their, on their console. Oh, you fucking scumbag. And I remember one time Stan ate some Chinese food and Mike had the hot mustard. And we saw some pretty girl. And Mike went, hey, whore, have some mustard. <laughs> and he threw it at her and she waved. And then she waved the mustard at her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey whore! Hey whore! He was a sociopath. Cause I remember we were, oh shit, we, we all were. We were driving. It was like a hundred degrees out. We saw this guy hitchhiking backwards <laughs> with no shirt, and fucking Michael was hey Stanley. Let's fucking let's drain some let's drain the engine oil and drive back and throw some hot oil on him. <laughs> he wanted to drain oil out of the hot engine and throw it on a guy's bare chest while he was hitchhiking. <laughs> 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 and he meant it. <laughs> let's go throw hot oil on him, Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen fifty three, dude. Once in a hot oil, fucking. We found one time the Jesus. holy grail. We were in a parking oh. lot and we found a half a dish of melted chocolate ice cream, <laughs> and there was an open car window with one of those fur seat backs. Oh, we <laughs> smushed it all over the seat back. We we drove by five minutes later. And there was an elderly couple. They had to be in their seventies, and they were outside the car. And she's wiping chocolate off the guy's back. <laughs> oh, oh, he must have been so hot under the collar. He sat down and got fucking chocolate all over his old back. Oh, it was perfect. <laughs> Oh, that 
was a good one. <laughs> all, over his, all over his old back. Oh, he just, he was, I'll never forget him standing there and her behind him just wiping at his back. <laughs> oh, you a fuck. Norn was a fucking man. Uh, he really oh, was. Hey, Stan Lee, let's go back and throw hot oil on him. Let's get a Paul in Nashville. Paul. Oh, oh my age. menace. He's a menace. Paul. <laughs> fucking laugh my fingers. Paul. Yes. Go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, one of the best places to take a crap to piss someone off is to get up on the green at a golf course, sit there and fill the hole full of shit because you know that first golfer <laughs> taps in, reaches in, grabs his ball, and gets hand full of shit. <laughs> ah, that's a good that's one. That's all she has. Damn good one. That's a damn good one, is right. <laughs> He's damn. Oh, that guy, I'll never forget the guy on the shoulder, backwards hitchhiking with mm. no shirt. <laughs> You, you know, it is also oil. a good one with the old person and his wife wiping his back off. How long did it take for him to sit there until he realized his back was in something? It couldn't have been long because it was fur and we coated it with <laughs> melted chocolate ice cream. You understand? It was the holy grail of fun. It was hot. It was summer. <laughs> Wide open window. His mistake. I wish there wasn't a statute of limitations. Uh -huh. yeah. Fucking arrest his idiot. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. That was, that was a good a one. creep. Yeah. That I understand. No, I, I, yeah, I meaning I would never be on another set and 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 behave like I didn't want to be there. If Were I you guys it. in the movie a lot? I we were filming a yes. lot. When yeah. Brendan Fraser crashes into the water pipes on this construction site for the second time in like fifteen minutes, all you see is Patrice standing there and he's holding one of them. He just chucks it at the car. I guarantee that was not in the script. That was just Patrice being pissed at the fact that he was on set that day. No, that was... Wasn't that actually in, in the uh, the script? <laughs> it was... It was a... It was just... It was just... That was definitely a... Uh, it was, oh. it was uh, supposed to be there. <laughs> And what about Jimmy? They uh, together they each together they have one line. Yeah. What wait? What what part? What what did you think that it was improv? Or what were you thinking that it wasn't in the uh, script? <laughs> when he chucked the water pipe at at Fraser's car. What part? Hey. I don't. I I didn't see it. I didn't. I didn't see wait, it. He threw the pipe at whose car? Oh my God! No, Who's, <laughs> whose car? They're laughing. I want to know what's going on here. But she's through the pipe at whose car? At chubby Brendan Fraser's. <laughs> well, did you? I mean, did you like the? Yeah. Did you think it was just terrible? It was swell. <laughs> the the uh, the the six and eight year old thought it was six. absolutely hilarious. The six and eight year old. So did you get any points on that? Because I'm sure they'll probably uh, buy the DVD. How how old are the kids? Though? Patrice has his headphones on. How old are the kids? Because it is a kid's movie. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, I can't believe I'm falling into this. No, <laughs> Patrice has his headphones. Now they're back on. How old are the kids? He's laughing at a picture of Brendan Fraser. Six and eight. Yeah, they're all six, right. Six. So it, they're, it's, it's basically a movie made for kids. Brooke Shields looks hot in it. Oh, who? She's in it? Brooke Shields? <laughs> I'm the idiot. I'm no, the you're not. I usually laugh at. Why? No, no. It's, it's, it's <laughs> not your fault. No. Patrice is killing us right now. The movie, look. Party it, Vengeance. In fairness. In fairness. It's silly. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. You may not want to look at this. I think is Jimmy's line. <laughs> is that what? Is that his line in the movie? Oh, fuck. Dude, ask him. He's still got to have it memorized. I'll ask him. Yeah, no, is, he is that your line in the movie? <laughs> he's right. Um, I uh, how say... is how is it delivered? Uh, what do you, you say? <laughs> you uh, it's a, it's a bad one. You may not want to look at this. I like the way the other, the guy on the phone said it better. What other lines are there? Does Patrice say something? Uh, no, Patrice only gets face scowl. That's the only action he gets. That's the only action he gets. Face like scowl. In the water pipe. And tossing the water pipe. 
Who's driving the car? You asses. I have no idea. Go pick your Shelby up, you rich man. <laughs> he does this uh -huh. all the time. We're trying to get Shelby. something done. And he's... Don't bring up my mug. Dang. He drives my a mug. Shelby <laughs> had a problem with the electrical system. Furry Vengeance. <laughs> so what? Oh. <laughs> Did you like Furry Vengeance? <laughs> Did the kid like it? Did you pay through the whole thing? <laughs> Did you get popcorn and soda? <laughs> so Patrice was face gal guy? And he threw the pipe at Brendan Fraker's car? What about the scene with the skunk? You still there, sir? At the snack bar, did you get Swedish fish? Swedish Can I have some we did <laughs> You know who's playing in the other theater? <laughs> Erlock Holmes. <laughs> uh, Blue Healer from Kentucky. Live long and what? Eh, live long and... Uh... Live long and proper. <laughs> what did uh, Rotten Tomatoes give Clash of the Titans? Oh, my God. It had to be, like... What was it? Let me Two. Not five. Yeah. Hmm. Seven. <laughs> Tomato. Oh. Oh. Is he... he left a long oh, time ago. Oh. On his own, by the oh, way. Yeah. Oh. He hung up. My on his throat own. hurts. Oh, oh, my fuck. My Sorry, guy. That hurts. That just yeah. was so... <laughs> It was that so wasn't. If this was if that was high school, that's that's a suicide or a fucking a shoot up to high school. <laughs> yes. Let's go to Sam. Sam. Oh fuck. Uh, Sam. Sam. Hello. Hello. Sham. Sham. Sons of bitches. No, the pay thing goes on today. It's been right. long enough. I I need a few days to crunch the numbers. I'm good. Yeah. I'm just very curious. I crunched. To see how much you crunched. <laughs> There's logic involved with the payment, too. Yeah. Okay. Right. I really thought this one out. Maybe the payment should come first, before October. I really thought this one out. You were crunching numbers. He rocks crunching hardwood floors. Because <laughs> he's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Baby pissing. <laughs> oh, 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 Troy, oh. what happened? I saw, his, I saw his bag pull all the way out. <laughs> oh. oh, no. A little more. <laughs> Could you handle my balls a little less? <laughs> no, no, just handle them. What's wrong with that? What are you, some lie. kind of... Oh. Exactly, this is medical. She's just, what, what's the matter? Is she fucking... She's just what's she doing? Caution, like <laughs> Captain Queeg? She's fucking... <laughs> Strawberries. <laughs> Who took the strawberries? We lost you. Oh, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> Please, God, no. <laughs> okay. How many portions did you have? <laughs>
<laughs> they called me old yellow stain. Uh, oh! 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 Is he, is he in court just manipulating Sal's balls with his hand? <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, You're doing a good job. Oh, I hope Sal. Oh, good. <laughs> 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 Do the shaft while you're at it. They can't watch TV with you. I understand if if it's a game because they're like, oh, I can now play with it. Oh, I'm not saying it's a good thing. That's stupid. I don't like it. It could probably be turned off. I'm sure it can. Yeah, go to your settings. Privacy settings. But uh, the personally, I don't care. Yes. Anthony is watching a documentary, sure. Gay in America, again. <laughs> <laughs> the 40th the Jim time. Norton story. <laughs> It's been a battle all morning. Oh my god! I backed into that one with my cheeks spread. Wow! Uh, <laughs> wow! Uh, that was a damn good one. Uh, you know, by the way, Ove handed me this book of uh, of uh, yeah. all these great celebrity uh, like mus musical auction they're having at. Uh, Whew. Hard Rock Cafe, I think. Yeah. Hard Rock Johnny gave us that. They got some Beatles stuff, which is pretty interesting. Um, uh -huh. Right here, I want to get the, uh, the you know, I wonder how much they want for the, oh my God. <laughs> for the, uh, for the, the George. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the George Harrison hat with gutters. <laughs> <laughs> This is beat red. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ah, uh, Shaq Balloon. All right, let's. Uh, Sha Shaq <laughs> if Shaq Balloon was, <laughs> if Shaq was flying around the Las Vegas skies, yeah, probably would have made a news broadcast. You think? Well, you think we're not going to question that it's a, an illusion. It's just once again the presentation that <laughs> would have been stinks. A, a UFN report. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, that was brilliant. But no, he's like you're hired, you're fired. It was like kind of like Trump does. It was kind of cool. The Trumpster. <laughs> yeah, good, good work, Regis. That won't date. <laughs> no. <laughs> That won't date like in ten years. You'd be like, oh, dude, it's over. It's, it's forty minutes later. It was like, awful. Hey, why don't we get Mike Brady in here and talk about those kids he's got on that TV show? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Look, Carol O'Connor's here. Get out of his chair, <laughs> Meathead. What are you doing? What's he gonna What's he gonna get Mike Brady to do? Then one shiny Christmas Eve, Santa fell face first into the snow. <laughs> Too many words. I gotta call you out on this. Rudolph. <laughs> Robert, with your nose so runny, why'd you make a man your honey? <laughs> to Jimmy, the show's over here. It's over here. <laughs> Is this a laugh take? Jesus. Oh, get my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not going to get better than that, so why don't we, why don't we go to break with Dennis Leary's thoughts on uh, Christmas, and, uh, and we'll continue. Rob goes, I heard this bit last week, right? Yes, uh, Rob. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. You'll hear maybe, a bunch you'll of hear it ten as days many ago. times as we want to do it, Rob. Exactly. Maybe ten days yourself. ago. <laughs> we focus on things. That's right. We can't, can't get off of them. Stay tuned, shithead. The ropers are coming up. <laughs> <laughs> With the plungers, Do you know man. how many tweets I've gotten when oh, people yeah. are thinking of this song they can't They're kick it so out of their heads? They're so angry that they can't get it out of their head. This ruins people's lives. <laughs> it's all I want to talk about is the Ropers. It's such a doofus song. Like, it's just a doofus walking around <laughs> to this music. <laughs> it just... 
It's the beginning of it that's so funny because you know what's coming. Yes. <laughs> Ah, shit. Every time. <laughs> it's terrible. Trouble. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> this is good. It's so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know people are so uh, annoyed. So <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> think she want to take you to a motel after? Oh man. Oh, well, yeah, of course. The... I think that she'd slide those little thong panties off too. Oh. To a motel. Does she wear a bra? <laughs> yeah, but you know what I might do? Get her the next time I'm at the dress factory. <laughs> I might get her one of those. Uh, those uh... <laughs> Most unbelievable things I, I've never seen. Anything. 